Is anybody home? Okay, you've wanted to be a fashion designer since you were five. And now you're 100. I need you to get to it. Oh man, we are literally in the second week of 2024. The first week of 2024 was a wild one, I must say. The girls were fighting over Stanley Cups. <laughs> You just want to learn how to sew and I've literally been just trying to make my matching mommy and me flannels for like the past couple of weeks. My matching mommy and me flannels video was supposed to go up this week but I'm missing fabric that I actually need to purchase. So that will be a follow up video probably next week. But for this week's sewing video, we're here to learn the skills to become fashion designers this year, okay? self talk We're gonna be doing a little bit of upcycling today to see if I can rework this old sweater into something completely brand new, fun and trendy and like modern because honey, this is just not giving, okay? I like the print, but we just need something fun to make this out of. I don't know, if you're trying to learn how to sew or become a fashion designer, I literally don't wanna hear a no excuses this year because you literally can use upcycling as a way to practice and hone in to your craft if you're not confident from sewing from scratch which <clears throat> shameless promotion sign up for my sewing academy waitlist so that way you can learn how to sew and build the confidence to sew from scratch link in the description box <clears throat> but there is no excuse if you just don't feel confident starting off that way get into upcycling because i'm telling you sweetheart time is a ticket time is slipping away from me don't want to go from five to 100 real quick zero to 100 real quick real quick without holding into your dream career we are gonna pull up old Susie back here I actually don't know what I want to name her I need to name her something she's just so basking in her glory back there what should we name her teacups we need a name but we're gonna pull her on forward and I'm going to just get into what we're gonna make this bad boy into I'm going to be using my Dinger scissors which I got off Amazon my favorite draping shears one of the tips when you are sewing and doing projects and creating clothing you want to always make sure your thread matches back to whatever project that you're working on because I think one of the things that make a lot of designers projects look so unprofessional is them just using any color thread for a project you don't want to use black or white even though those are like the typical threads to use that you will use a lot of you need the correct color thread so in this you can use like a beige color or like the same color green you want to use like the same color that goes back to whatever project you're working on so I had these colors which you would think oh this green goes no this green is like super bright it's gonna stand out and it's gonna look like it's gonna be bright and it's not gonna look right this gold i thought about hmm maybe this gold i could have maybe passed with it but it's not giving now i could have passed with this one i was gonna use this one until i found which i'm gonna show you guys this red that matches back literally perfect with this project so if you're not sure you can always look on the threads that are being used to actually figure out which color thread to use on your project so those are the things that i'm using i have my machine threaded already if you don't know how to sew a 30 machine i will show you in sew design academy you will get like a free trial run but for now i do have a video up here showing you how to thread my kimmore machine but i haven't actually showed you how to thread a senior machine but that will be featured in my sewing academy so next i'm going to be using some clips you can use clips or pins whatever i love using my clips now because i don't like hurt myself with pins i was going to do some type of like halter top well not halter but like tube top make it tight fitting and leave this flowing but i think i want to make some type of asymmetrical skirt because i don't have an asymmetrical skirt in my wardrobe and a lot of the times i don't like wearing like jeans and like bottoms a lot in the house so i want something that's super comfortable that i can wear when i'm in the house but it's still kind of like dressed up so i can actually go ahead and start cutting this dress form is actually like a little bit bigger than my size so i might actually end up having to take it in i don't really think i need to drape this first i was gonna drape this first but i think what i'm gonna do is actually like cut it first and then drape my pieces I think i'm gonna cut on the back part so that way I have these like little sleeves. 
So there we have this little sleeve part and I really want to use this little patch to make something cool. I feel like upcycle pieces are like super cool when you have like little patches like this and you can like really do unique things with them. So I'm going to set this little piece to the side and I'm going to cut the other piece off. I'm also going to take off this tag. You can also create your own tag. There's different places where you can buy a tag for your own personal custom creation, but never hesitate to think you can't re-tag pieces. So I don't have my seam ripper, unfortunately. So I have to just do this with these mini scissors. So I could do something like this in the front, kind of like, short on this side and like longer on that side this back kind of looks wonky because it has the buttons so i'm thinking somehow keeping the buttons on the front i really want to get rid of a lot of the fabric but i want to still keep the buttons so i'll probably just cut a lot of this back fabric off so far i have this like super cute asymmetrical look on this side i even like tried it on um, as you guys can see this back part is where i will chop off a lot of the fabric because i want it to fit really tight on this back part and i really want this to just be as tight as possible I kind of want to leave like this like collar effect. I'm just going to take like some of this off. Not a lot, but I am going to leave this. But I'm going to take some of this off like right here. And then we'll have this on this side. So I did bring it out a little bit closer. I don't know if I like this or not. I don't know if it's giving like me girl vibes. <laughs> But I kind of like the idea of having the patches on the boobs. I don't know, we'll see. I made the sleeves into like this like top. Sorry y'all, that's a hard playing her game. I made the sleeve into like this like halter top type thing that maybe connects to the like the skirt. But it's gonna be, I don't know if it's really gonna be a dress cause it's gonna be backless. So it's gonna be very, very skimp. Very skip skay. But I don't know. What do we think? If not, I'm just gonna do a skirt, but I was just kind of like playing around with this, so... It's just an idea. It's not permanent as of yet. I flipped it inside out, and I'll show y'all where I'll be sewing that. All right, so I did go back and pin some of this stuff. What I'm going to do is unpin. So I'm just gonna sew. I might end up having to like hem this part, but for now, I'm just gonna sew. And it's not straight because it's all asymmetrical. I'm just gonna sew up along. I, so I pinned it, I haven't actually sewn it yet. And what I like about this knit fabric is it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm like perfectly fine with it not coming out perfect. But if I pin till right here, it'll still show like the three buttons. It will be like still kind of asymmetrical. It looks kind of off on camera, like this green isn't giving, but in person, this green is like really pretty. Will I put like a piece underneath here? I'm not sure yet. I might, just to add like some flavor. There's actually a little thread cutter on the side where you can just cut off that thread. A lot of this, like right after this line, a lot of this I'll probably end up cutting off, but I'm gonna turn it inside out to see what it actually looks like. Okay, so I do want my third button showing and I only have two. So I'm actually gonna take out the stitch right here so that way the third button is actually showing. I sewed up a little bit too far, which I didn't mean to because I really wanted three buttons instead of two. I'm just gonna take that out. Okay, so me taking out that seam because I didn't have my seam ripper caused me to get a little hole in here. So I'm about to do like maybe like a little bit of like patchwork, I guess. I think I'm gonna take this little thing and just like put it over it and make it like random. Cut it and like make it like just this random little Little patch like that. I think that would be cute. I don't know. It's just whole, I'm just gonna do a top stitch. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I feel like it's gonna be okay though. And I'm gonna do just a straight stitch. So I'm gonna turn this to my straight stitch. Make sure you still back stitch. Okay, and then pivot. Move this out the way. Ah! Bring it back down. Do 
pivot again. And then this will be the last pivot for this. That is it. There you have your little knitted little patchwork. And we'll see what it looks like when I like hanging down. I think that's what adds the personality to it. All right, I am back. It is indeed a new day. This is what I have so far. Now, I would like to say that this piece is kind of like a perfectly undone, done, archived piece. So it's really just kind of like, it looks better on. Why I'm saying it's perfectly unperfect is because I just kind of like did whatever over here. I didn't want anything to be like perfect. Like even the parts where I messed up and I like put a hole, I just kind of like did. Whenever I have to like cut off some of these pieces. But when it's off, it doesn't look appealing. But that's the fun part about it because when you put it on, it just has like all this movement. It's fun. So the last part that I attached was just this other dead stock piece of fabric actually going to be sewing up underneath. And then it's just going to like dangle down. So what else I like about this is that it can be very versatile, I feel like. So I can wear it more than one different way. I was going to do kind of like this like top sort of situation going on. Kind of like Mean Girls. I think I showed you guys. But then I ended up changing my mind because I don't know it was just something gimmicky about it that I didn't like I mean I like the patches and I was gonna add the patches onto the skirt but then I was like maybe I'll just use this fabric for something else so I'm just gonna sit these ones out because I feel like when you overdo a design it just becomes too much and I don't want to overdo it with like putting the top half and then all this stuff going on on the bottom I'm gonna leave it as is I already did my like unperfect timing of the waistband portion because because again, I didn't want it to be perfect. I think that's what I like about this fabric is like, it's like a knit, so it doesn't have to be like super perfect. Alrighty. Again, not perfect. <laughs> I feel like if I was making this for somebody else, I probably would be a little bit more like trying to perfect it. But since it's just for me, I'm okay with like the undone look. All right. So this is the finished look. This is what she came out like. I just put some boots on. I'm like obsessed with this skirt. It's so comfy. And I really just like the, again, the little frills. Like, and just like uniqueness and unfinishedness of it. Unseriousness of it. It's just, it's just like a going with the wind, embracing the mistakes within the skirts, which I wouldn't even say mistakes. Right here, I kind of just did whatever. And I kind of didn't just pressure myself about the fact that it's just whatever going on about it. Turn pressure into like diamonds. Unless I said anything, people would probably think this is the way that I, what I was going for in the first place. Anyways, so yeah, you see a lot of designers have like unfinished, a lot going on or like what's going on, intriguing pieces like this. I don't really have anything in my wardrobe like this. I have one other piece that you guys probably seen me make some years back. It's like a purple knitted skirt with the same material. So I knew when I had this material, it was gonna be perfect to get into a skirt again because the material is just so soft and it feels so good and it's so flowy. So that wraps up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys got something out of this upcycling. I don't know, should we call this closet recreations video? Let me know in the comments if I should bring that series back make sure to like comment and subscribe and share this video so that it can reach more like-minded people in our community and until the next episode i love you and i will see you at the top peace